Oh boy, looks like we are back to Sir Big Handles again. When's the last time we looked at him? Oh yeah, when he was rude to everyone around him and Top Hat shut him in the shed. Guess he's been let out again, as well as his ego. I'm just glad it's not winter again. That was a quick change in season, thank God. Sir Handle is very proud of his big sturdy wheels. They have broad tires and hold well to the rails, but they are unusual. One day, the other engines wouldn't stop teasing him. I don't know why that would matter to him. After all, Sir Handel thinks he's the best of the best. But then again, so does Duncan. The other engines call his funky wheels steamroller wheels, and Sir Handel did not appreciate that. He felt that they truly made him better than the rest. And with that, one of the engines came up with an idea to teach him a lesson. Guess who it was? Scarloe had a plan to make Sir Handel see sense. With your grand wheels, Sir Handel, said Scarloe, you're just the engine to tackle George. Who's George? That steamroller over there, replied Scarloe. Okay, what the heck, Scarloe? Are you old and wise or young and stupid? Why is he the one instigating this? Shouldn't it be someone like Duncan who always thinks he's better than everyone? Scarloe should be shaking his head, not stirring the pot. Although he wasn't the only one with behavioral issues. George was none too friendly to anyone related to the railway. Railways are no good. Turn them into roads. Pull them up. Turn them into roads. Railways are no good. Turn them into roads. Pull them up. Turn them into roads. Carlin's voiceover for George is hilarious here. He sounds like some kind of 1920s gangster. Or something. Also, that musical theme for George is quite interesting to hear as well. My question is, what made George so mean to begin with? He's like in the same vein as Bulgy, angry at the engines for unexplained reasons other than the assumption of roads are preferred over rails. Sir Handel felt no threat though, and proceeded to taunt the green bean steamroller when they met at the level crossing. You're Sir Handel, I suppose. Sir Handel was standing no nonsense. And you, I suppose, are George? Yes, I've heard of you. And I've heard of you. You swank around with your steamroller wheels, pretending you're as good as me. Actually, I'm better. Hoo 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 hoo! Sir Handel, you really know how to grind one's gears, don't you? And as predicted, George became the flat and the furious. Yeah, I know, bad pun, but in all seriousness, he was mad. Apparently, even Sir Handel's steamroller wheel rumor got around even to George. How does news spread this fast? Anyway, the next time Sir Handel came down the same line, he found George was ahead of him. Yeah, please don't cause any more trouble, you blue steam. Yeah, who am I kidding? There was barely room to pass. <laughs> Sir Handel was cross. Get out of my way, you great clumsy road hog. Huh, I don't move for imitation steamrollers. My god, Sir Handel, can you be any more rude? Now, I'm not saying George is innocent, but Sir Handel is certainly not making tensions any less stressful. The gap between these two is super small. This is no good, yo. And lo and behold, as Sir Handel was just about past George completely, George derailed a part of Sir Big Handel's train. And just like several other accidents that have occurred in this show, it was not easy to determine whose fault it was. It sure looked like George, or George's driver for that matter, but it was never figured out. Everyone was arguing about who was to blame. Hello, 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 said a policeman ominously. And what's going on here? This made everyone stop arguing. They set to work clearing up the mess instead. Once that was completed, George was then escorted away for there was no work to do. However, the narrow gauge engine's troubles were far from over. Because George was gone, Sir Handel took all the credit and continued to brag about his accomplishment. See, Scarloe, you red dummy? Why don't you just keep doing what you're best at? Being wise and old. Like Duke, who also hasn't said a word since the You Can't Win episode. That is unfortunate, honestly. I'm sorry my plan was no good. Never mind, said Rusty. We'll think of something else. 
but they had no need to do that. Some boys arrived instead. They pointed to the engine and cried, Look, here's Sir Handel. He tried to race a steamroller, but the steamroller nearly beat him. Sir Handel never mentions steamrollers now. Well, that's his own undoing. Sir Handel just doesn't seem to get it. He's a tough guy engine, but there's no need to consistently try to outmatch everyone who comes his way. It's kind of like James, but James is less confrontational, I think, as opposed to him. Sir Handel is like one of those weird people you meet that just lives at every chance to start an argument. At least right now. It's also weird because he wasn't this hard to work with when he was Falcon. I think the Sir prefix to his name gave him a big funnel for no reason. To whoever renamed him, poor choice of words. As for Scarloey, I don't get his thing either. Stick to being old and wise, will ya? You're not good at playing jokes. I hope he realized that after his little plan fouled up this time. Believe it or not, besides this, both music and set pieces had something new to offer, but in limited quantities. Locations only feature the narrow gauge engine sheds, which have been seen many times now, and the other was the Ben Glass line where Sir Handel clashes with George. When they were neck and neck, it was really close to see who was gonna knock each other first. As for music, the Scarlowy Railway theme is heard, because Sir Handel doesn't have one for some reason. And the other was George the Steamroller, which had a tone best described as slow and agitated, which I think represents George quite well. Next episode is Passengers and Polish. Thanks for watching.